Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. With the induction of INS Vikrant, India has now two operational aircraft carriers, one each for eastern and western seaboard. At the same time, China has plans to have 10 aircraft carriers by 2050. As of 2022, PA Navy has two combat-ready aircraft carriers with third being fitted out. China may possess five to six aircraft carrier by the end of 2030s. An aircraft carrier is a huge investment and in order to build them, a country must have a very strong economy. However, a powerful hypersonic or ballistic missile can really prove to be a great deterrence against the carrier strike group. Sinking an aircraft carrier is also not an easy task. You would have heard China conducting multiple simulated drills of sinking an aircraft carrier. USS America, which is a Kitty Hawk supercarrier class aircraft carrier, had a displacement of nearly 83,000 ton, was almost impossible to sink. The flat top was retired in 1996 and Navy wanted to know how a carrier would react to explosion that would simulate an attack. During explosive test, it took four weeks and finally ended up having to scuttle the aircraft carrier from onboard as she refused to sink. The aircraft carriers have doubled or maybe tripled layer hull, meaning anti-ship missiles have to push through alternating layers of steel. INS Vikram, for example, is made from 30,000 tons of special steel. Therefore, sinking an aircraft carrier missile needs the momentum and firepower of a ballistic or hypersonic missile. In the quest for the same, DRDU has finalized the design of 1500 km range conventionally armed ballistic missile with an anti-ship variant as reported by the Hindustan Times. To further commence its development, the PSU needs the financial approval and go ahead from government. Still, there is no name given to the missile. Besides providing the deterrence against the aircraft carrier, this new ballistic missile can also target land-based assets across LSE in Xinjiang, Tibet and Yunnan provinces. Due to its range, the new missile will provide deterrence against the adversary's aircraft carrier strike group and at the same time protect its own aircraft carrier. As you might know, Dhanush was an offshoot version of Prithvi missile having a range of 350 km. Dhanush was a naval ballistic missile and a technical demonstrator to exhibit the role of a ballistic missile in anti-ship mode. Last year, on 28 June 2021, India had successfully tested Agni Prime, which is also capable of carrying nuclear warhead and has a range between 1000 to 2000 km. There were reports that DRDO has started working on an anti-ship version of Agni Prime, however, it was not officially confirmed. Interestingly, the former DRDO chief, Dr. Avinas, who is also famous as architect of Agni Seas missile system, has told that Agni Prime has capability to kill moving target. This statement of former DRDO chief is clearly hinting towards carrier killer role of Agni Prime. The new Indian Express had also reported last year that indigenous MIRB technology was tested successfully in Agni Prime missile with weapon delivering two maneuverable warheads at two separate locations. Agni Prime has also some of the major enhancements over its predecessor such as fully upgraded composites, new propulsion system, innovative guidance and control mechanism and state-of-art navigation system. It is sleeker missile with weight one-fifth and dimension almost half of Agni 3 missile which makes it stealthier than its predecessor. Agni Prime can carry warhead between 1500 to 3000 kg. Therefore, it is highly likely that the new anti-ship ballistic missile which DRDO is planning to develop is going to be an offshoot version of Agni Prime as it has all the technologies and capabilities of a carrier killer. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.